Hello everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. And today we're looking at a beautiful 2023 Peterbilt 389 Custom in a legendary orange with a casino purple painted frame. This is an amazing truck build that we've done for Art Suvero with a CH Inc. out of Wheeling, Illinois. Again, this is a legendary orange 2023 Peterbilt 389 Custom with a casino purple painted frame. Uh, it's got the 78 inch platinum sleeper. This truck is specced out on a 300 inch wheelbase. So it's that nice stretched look powered by a Cummins X15 Performance Series engine, 565 horsepower and that ho 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 2050 pound feet of torque. And it is paired to an Eaton Fuller 18 speed ultra shift automated transmission that's right only two pedals in this thing say what you want you've got your own opinions plenty of people will say oh it's not a real truck it's only got two pedals it's not a real manual transmission well what matters most as i've said many times is whoever's driving the truck and whoever's paying for it they like it they think it's cool that's what matter the, matters the most and i do think an automated transmission is pretty cool on these trucks now one thing i will say I wish we didn't have the digital dash on these 389s, especially since we're really gonna be able to make them for uh, not that much longer. Um, the, with the digital dash, your automated transmission is a stock that comes off the steering wheel as opposed to that old school brick style cell phone uh, that we used to have back in the day uh, coming out of the floor or mounted to your uh, dashboard. Now it's literally just like a turn stock on the right hand side of your uh, steering column just like it is on the 579 and 567. So that is one thing that I do really appreciate about these new digital dashes. Um, let's talk about the truck a little bit more. Again, legendary orange is the color. When it comes to the legendary colors, um, I will say this is not the one with the most sparkle, but it looks amazing. Uh, Art's other trucks are painted Omaha orange and I'll probably do the other trucks Omaha orange but this is a really special custom one for Art himself. And I'm really glad he went with this legendary orange and the casino purple contrast just turned out incredible. I'm just really thrilled with this truck. Uh, so many people and so many departments really knocked this one out of the park. Obviously Peterbilt at the factory built a beautiful truck. Um, when it got here, uh, our rig up shop, uh, getting the truck ready getting uh, over to the body shop, Keegan Holmes, Brennan Brister, Jacob Hazelwood sourcing our parts and the newest addition to our team, Chris Heath, uh, day one. We threw him uh, out there uh, to see what he could uh, accomplish. And he's the one who did the majority of the uh, dress up work on this truck and really just knocked it out of the park. I know I'm missing my paint guys. Uh, not sure if it was Martin or Isaiah or Carlos who uh, painted these tanks, but uh, any one of those guys. I mean, they're truly magicians when it comes to uh, the custom paint and uh, just really, really thrilled with how this tur truck turned out. Art's going to be driven, uh, leaving with the truck here later today and he is just uh, super excited with how the truck turned out, even better than he dreamed, he said. So um, long time process putting this truck together um, with part shortages, inventory delays, um, but I really hope this was a uh, real worth the wait. Uh, interesting day today. It's a little going back and forth between overcast and sunny. So you're probably seeing how this color changes um, based upon the sunlight. Um, as I've said before, these legendary colors, you really don't uh, get to do them justice until you actually uh, see them in person. But again, this is just such a beautiful, beautiful truck. Let's talk about some of the custom dress up. Of course, one of the key features is the eight inch huge monster Dynaflex exhaust, either the eight inch exhaust with the 60 inch stove top or flat top tips. Um, of course, we went with the uh, seven clear watermelon marker lights. Uh, our tried and true uh, Phoenix Designs 14 inch blind mount drop visor. Of course, painted both sides and we've got the matching window chops for the cab and the sleeper. Of course, we love that this 14 inch blind mount drop visor follows just a perfect seamless line between that visor and the window chop. Continue on through, 
uh, we added these drop posts and then we did the uh, clear turn signals on the mirrors. We chopped the breathers, so we literally took this part of the grill, chopped it down, uh, painted the breathers as well, but left the, uh, the grills and the straps polished. I really like that kind of contrast look. Um, of course, we did the uh, Phoenix Designs lights package with the painted front and rear breather lights panels. Of course, amber on the front, red on the back. Might not be able to see that that well. I'll go around to the other side in a little bit so you can actually see what the lights look like. Uh, six and a half inch painted lights panels with the underglow lights for the cab and the sleeper. We painted the fuel tanks as, where at, as well as the air tank and added these wide straps to it. Did the stainless steel panels on the uh, battery and DPF box cover. Um, here's a look at your true eight inch exhaust. You can see that wide pipe right there and that huge bracket that Dynaflex supplies for us. Again, painted the tanks all the way, left the straps polished. These are dual 150s, so we're able to do the uh, rear depth tank. We painted the, uh, the cover uh, legendary orange, and we painted the actual depth tank and bracketry, uh, the casino purple to match the frame. And of course, little touch with that uh, chrome depth cap as well. Did the uh, antennas on the back of the sleeper from the factory. Switched out all the load lights to clear LED lenses with the uh, red lights. We did the uh, airbags and shock box cover painted as well to the uh, legendary orange and added the four lights to that shock box cover. We love doing the uh, Merit painted aluminum deck plate. Able to paint that as well put the uh, air and electric line recess in there. We wanted to put a uh, recess toolbox in here, um, but just with the cross members and the airlines, we weren't able to fit it either in front of or behind of where we've got that. Uh, seems odd that we weren't able to do that on a 300 inch wheelbase, but sometimes that's just how applications does that. Um, we'll work on clearing out some frame space next time we do one of those. Um, went with the hex bolts instead of the uh, huck bolts on that frame. We've got this stretched look and we wanna make it really clean with the uh, hex bolts instead of huck bolts. Got the Hodge built premium mirror finish, 304 stainless steel uh, fenders on here. These are the uh, double humps. Uh, this truck is set up on all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes. We've got the uh, air ride front suspension with the uh, car hauler front. We've got that slammed right now, so we added the switch on the dash to drop the steer axle. Um, and that's all on one switch, so it's now we're able to slam the steer axle as well as the drive axles all at the same time. Um, Bridgestone uh, Low Pro 24.5s, the uh, Bridgestone R213s on the front with the Peterbilt ovals on the rims, and the uh, Bridgestone M713s on those Low Pro 24.5s on the rear. Art wanted us to go with the uh, Holland FWAL aluminum fifth wheel. Uh, one thing I'll point out, uh, whenever these trucks come with a painted frame from the factory, uh, they paint it at the factory and that fifth wheel is already on there. So you end up having a black spot on your fifth wheel. So we ended up actually uh, painting that here at the dealership just to give you a cleaner look. The devil is in the details and that's one of the areas where uh, our body shop's just gonna shine over the competition. Uh, of course, that's eventually gonna scratch off over time as you slide your fifth wheel back and forth, but hey, leaving here, it's gonna look great. On the back of the truck, um, we've added, we've got the uh, air and electric lines added from the factory, all our air lines, we've added the uh, quick connects to the truck. We added this uh, chrome cross member to the end of the frame and put your electric plug right there in the middle. We added the uh, chrome mud flap hanger hangers uh, with the uh, three four inch round LED backup and tail lights on those uh, mud flap hangers, the uh, centerpiece with the lights, the uh, Peterbilt mud flaps with our hashtag Dallas built mud flaps. I think that was a really, really cool touch. We also did the matching Peterbilt mud flaps with the chrome weights on the steer axle that I'll show you here in just a little bit.
out of the Thermo King uh, Tri Pack APU. All components of the APU, including the uh, condenser, mounted to the APU instead of the uh, back of the sleeper for a cleaner look. Uh, got the shell on this before we installed it, so we painted the whole uh, APU shell uh, that legendary orange as well. Uh, you can see over here, because we're on the other side of the sun, hopefully you can see those underglow lights lit up on the truck. All LED lights. Love that dual 150s fuel tank look. And of course the uh, polished stainless steel cover on the DPF box. There's the matching Peterbilt mud flaps with the chrome weights on there to match the uh, end of the frame. Really cool little touch right there. Hopefully you can see those uh, rear breather lights in red and the front breather lights here in amber. It's a good look at the sparkle in that legendary paint. Coming up front, man, this uh, this truck really makes a statement when you see it pulling up. Just such a beautiful truck. Let's talk about some of the components that we've added to the truck here. Obviously, we talked about the exhaust, the visor, and the uh, seven clear marker lights. Gotta love the Angry Duck hood ornament. I mean, this is really one of my favorite hood ornaments. We did opt to install the pedestal here. This pedestal is not cheap, but man, I really, really like it installed. It just finishes it off a lot cleaner. Uh, whenever you're opening the hood, it feels more stable whenever you're uh, pulling on that. We added the three bars to the grill, so it's a seven bars grill. We did the uh, old school single round headlights with the visors. Uh, let's take a look real quick. You can see that LED ring. These are all LED headlights, so it's not just a standard halogen bulb. It gives you that real old school look, but with the modern technology and the better lighting of that LED. And of course, we went with the uh, solid JJ uh, headlight brackets. This is a, a 20 inch bumper with the uh, mitered edges. So we've added the marker lights to the edges and Chris actually custom installed these four LED lights on both sides of the bumper. And man, it turned out amazing. While we're talking about that bumper, we'll show you some uh, cool custom features before we head inside the truck. Here's a look underneath the hood of uh, this beautiful truck. There's uh, our beautiful Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. 565 horsepower and that oh, 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 2050 pound feet of torque. As you've heard me say before, the uh, Performance Series engines get these black diamond plated badges with the aluminum lettering, where the Efficiency Series, it's flopped to where it's a uh, black lettering with a uh, brushed aluminum look. And the Vocational Series still has aluminum lettering, but with a uh, kind of gray aluminum background. I think they each fit um, the style engine that it is nicely. We've got the, of course, the upgraded Davco 382 fuel water separator. No remote lube uh, points since this, is an, since this is an automated transmission. You've got greasable front springs and of course that ride like a cloud air ride front suspension. Um, of course, we do have the uh, suspension drop on that. Right now the airbags are inflated, so this is its standard ride height. Um, of course, with the Casino purple painted frame, all frame components are painted, even the airbags, so that paint will peel off those airbags eventually. This is the car hauler five inch drop and all this brakes on here. Nice little detail that we've done on some other trucks and we decided to do on Art's truck is we painted all the uh, air tubes on there to match that casino purple. Take a look at the other side. Awesome. 
and as you can see painted those uh, air tubes that matching casino purple there's the dump valve that we add just like on the uh, drive axle suspension to drop those airbags for that slammed look we did the uh, backlit LED red lights inside the bumper for just a really cool red glow. Go ahead and get those lit up for you. Well, wow. close this hood. As I stated previously with this uh, pedestal for the hood ornament. Makes it really nice and easy, a little bit more stable whenever it comes to uh, closing those hoods. All right, we've got Ulysses from our shop helping us out. We're gonna show you how we uh, drop that steer axle suspension. And there it goes down just like that. Going for that nice slammed look. And then when we're going over the bumps, we can lift that bumper right there and then put it back down just like that. And then that suspension will go up just like this. There she goes. Takes a second to start inflating. But now she's almost back to ride height. Ready to head down the highway busting bugs. Well, thanks again to Ulysses uh, helping us show some of the cool features on the truck. We'll take a look inside now. Again, this is a 78-inch uh, platinum sleeper on a 30-inch uh, wheelbase. This is the uh, Saharan Tan. Uh, I'd say the majority of the trucks that we deliver have the Arctic gray interior, but this is the Saharan tan. I think it complements the uh, legendary orange really well. So this truck weighing from the factory, 19,386 pounds. Um, that's what it weighed from the factory, almost no fuel uh, whenever they weigh them on that stamped weight. Of course, these are the Sears Atlas 80 ultra leather seats. We did the uh, sit so low seat bases for both seats. Uh, we also removed the platform from the factory so it can really be slammed down low. And whenever you're at ride height, you've actually got more air in the seats for a little bit more comfortable ride. Hands down my favorite seats from the factory. Love doing the sit so low seat bases. You can really see on this passenger side how far back you can slide those seats whenever you add these uh, sit so low seat bases. There is only a uh, just under 58 miles on the ticker for this truck. So of course, Art is going to be the uh, first person to sneeze in this truck. Uh, this is that brand new digital dash, got the leather wrapped steering wheel. And here is the stock for uh, using your automated transmission. Um, super easy to use, 15 gauges on the B panel. Cup holder, carpet, Floors. We added the uh, Peterbilt um, rubber floor mats. This is a single bunk sleeper with additional storage cabinets. And of course the uh, fridge from the factory. Premium mattress. We've got the uh, business center installed on the uh, passenger side. So you've got all these uh, that slide out. You've got your tray for uh, doing your work or eating your meal. Plastic containers that you can use for your files. And then that bottle tray right there. Again, this has uh, got the premium mattress. We've also got the uh, premium speaker package. And down there. 
There's the uh, premium speakers and bunk heater from Thermo King. We did install the uh, Thermo King APU. There's the AC unit for the Thermo King. There's the hoses and electric lines. And uh, that's the AC unit from the factory. Here's a look at the 2000 watt inverter that Thermo King installs. We're going to run a wire uh, from there into the microwave area so Art has a plug for his microwave and TV. And there's the controls for the Thermo King AP unit. Very simple, easy to use. They provide a little QR code right there so you can see your operating uh, instructions right there. And there's a look at the full dash area. Love the painted visor on the inside. Love that legendary orange hood and that awesome angry duck hood ornament. Of course, uh, this is the best view in truck trucking, only improved by that drop visor. And man, that awesome angry duck. Just uh, point his head on the horizon and keep on trucking. And there is Art Subaru with uh, CH Inks, uh, legendary orange with casino purple painted frame, 2023 Peterbilt 389 Custom. Truly one of the uh, best dress ups that we've ever done here at Rush Peterbilt in Dallas. Huge thanks to everyone in the uh, rig up shop, Jamie and uh, Tony with the last minute items we need to add to the truck. Uh, huge thanks to everyone in the body shop. Keegan Holmes running the shop, Brennan Brister assisting him, Jacob Hazelwood sourcing all the parts, uh, Chris Heath doing the amazing dress up works uh, on this truck, everyone in the paint shop, Martin, Isaias, uh, Carlos just doing an awesome job on all these custom dress ups. If you're looking for your own uh, custom Peterbilt 389, please give me a call. My name is Travis Quadlander. I'm here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. My cell is 817-504-7220. Hablo Espanol, Puerto Rico, Marmio, 817, 504-7220. Or come see us at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt, right here in Irving, Texas, off of Loop 12 and Union Bauer. Want to say a huge thanks to all you truckers and everyone in the transportation industry for keeping our country running when we need you the most. There are uh, certainly some uh, interesting times that we are living in and uh, y'all don't get enough credit for uh, the amount that you do for our country truly uh, keeping our country running when we need you the most uh, we're going to do our best to to support and appreciate you here um, again so much appreciation on, on our end that y'all rightfully deserve much more uh, stick around you'll be able to see uh, Art driving off in his brand new trucks, in his brand new truck. And here is Art Suvaro with CH Inc. out of Wheeling, Illinois, fixing to be wheeling down the road in his brand new legendary orange with casino purple frame Peterbilt 389 Custom. Again, huge congratulations to Art. Alex, when are you gonna get a badass truck like this? <laughs> Just an amazing, amazing build. So pleased with how it turned out. So excited for Alex to be driving off in this beautiful truck. And here comes Art Subaru with CH Inc. out of Wheeling, Illinois. Wheeling on down the road in his maiden voyage back to Illinois in his beautiful legendary orange with casino purple painted frame. 2023 Peterbilt 389 Custom. Truly one of the best builds that we've done out of here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. Again, huge congratulations, Art. <laughs> Art, it's been great making this dream become a reality for you. It's been a beautiful day here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. Can't wait to hear how much you enjoy that beautiful rig.
God bless and happy trucking.